All right, here's the one week progress. And boy, those have looked good for one week. These are coming. I probably didn't let uh, these seedling plants uh, you know, grow big enough before I put them in the uh, system uh, because they're kind of flimsy and maybe not strong enough to be out here, but they're doing good. So, still got a few more plants I'm going to put in the system. Um, but, uh, you know, it's growing good. I recognize the need for, um, I've got to change this water in here, five gallons, with the nutrient solution, uh, according to what I've read on the internet, and I could be wrong, and please leave in the comments below if I am wrong, uh, but um, I have to change this out every seven to ten days, uh, and that makes sense, because if the plants are taking up the nutrients, then I've got to replenish that, so uh, I've got a need to to empty this without having to go through all the trouble of taking this off and disturbing so i've decided i'm going to put a i'm going to put a a drain in here with a ball valve and uh that way i can just open it up empty the solution out and you know fill it back up through the fill uh and change it out each week so i'm going to do that now with a uniseal gonna uh, get the hole in the bucket and uh, in this uniseal right here is a really neat thing to have, especially when you have a curved surface. Uh, we're gonna put that, it totally seals the water. I'll have a link below on where you can get a uniseal. And it's just a rubber piece and I'll show you how to install it. First thing, I got my place that I'm gonna put it marked and you just need to drill a hole. let that empty I'm gonna clean up the hole a little bit after it empties and um, then I'll get the uniseal in and we'll get this thing ready to go okay water's almost done draining but let me show you how easy it is to install this uniseal well it's easier with two hands now I've got the uniseal snapped in and all it is just push it in there and then the real magic is getting this little pipe in there and then that pushes it up against the uh, hole that you cut and it totally seals everything in so let me get the pipe all right so let me finish getting this in here and it just kind of pushes in there level it up and that should give me a tight seal. Okay, just got to fill this back up. I'm going to put four gallons in now. And then I'm going to mix the nutrient solution in one gallon. And that will give me five gallons. Okay, now i got the nutrient solution all mixed up. I'm going to add it to the five gallons. Another thing I found from doing this is that my uh, bucket water was getting too hot, sitting on this hot concrete. So I lifted it up and leveled it off so that there's a, a gap, an air gap underneath it, hoping that'll keep the water temperature down in there. But it was getting over 100 degrees, so that's not going to be good for the plants. So we'll see. Okay, well here we are at week two, and man, we've had great growth. Um, Look at that. I mean, I'm just really, really pleased. All the different varieties are really, really strong. I don't see any uh, nutrient deficiencies. Everything looks vibrant. 
maybe a little lightness there of a nitrogen deficiency but other than that everything's doing fine i did have to take this one out and re replant it with another seed it died due to the heat we had one day uh same thing with the one on the bottom there uh so these are done at different times there's a little bit of leaf lettuce here that's doing better so what i thought i'd do is harvest a little bit make a all right so we got that to this and boy that looks delicious so i'm gonna go try that and uh see how good it is and i bet it's marvelous and if you want to if you like to grow things and you like to um, eat salads and stuff well this might be the best way to do it you've got potential 12 different net cups that can grow 12 different varieties or unlimited if you keep stacking the 3d printed uh, up higher uh, I also made this that I'm going to do out of PVC so I'll give you an update on that I don't have the net pots in the seeds are growing this has the potential to grow 16 two in the back and one in the front and it's the water goes down into the ground into a PVC pipe down there and then circulates up and back down so I'll try that one next okay well after three or so weeks I think I gave a week or so for the seed to plant we're looking good I'm ready to kind of harvest this even though it may not be exactly ready I'm ready to kind of really make a big salad with this and see how it goes uh, this one's beautiful let's look at the roots Look at that. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay. Put it back in there. Oh, that is a beautiful piece of lettuce. So I guess I would call that a success. I've got the other one loaded up that I was telling you about. And it's going to start growing. That is a 4 inch PVC pipe. So got everything loaded up there so let's see how that goes and that is a pool noodle inside there so let's see how that does with seeds and plants so I'm gonna call this one done and I'm gonna go harvest some and have a good meal thank you for watching and like and subscribe and I appreciate it